Planet Dolan. Who built a major business by selling meat in a church parking lot? What app was released as an April Fool's joke but ended up being worth $5 million in just three months? Here are 10 of the dumbest, luckiest, and strangest ways people got rich. Hi there! My name is Doopy and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number 10. Virtual Real Estate Aunt Chung made a million dollars selling real estate, which doesn't sound unusual at all on the surface. It's just that the real estate she sold wasn't real. It was virtual real estate in Second Life. Chung used in-game currency called Linden Bucks to buy and develop property, then sell the upgraded land to other people at a profit. But Second Life was unique in that its currency could be traded two ways. You could buy Linden Bucks with real money, but you could also trade Linden Bucks for real money. Using that system, Chung built a fortune in Linden Bucks and converted that money into over a million dollars in real money. Number 9. Other People's Secrets in 2005, Frank Warren had a website and an idea. The idea was to get people to anonymously send him postcards with a secret written on one side. He would then post that secret on his website, thus creating a huge library of people admitting their secrets without the risk of having it traced back to them. This idea became popular enough for people for Warren to publish six books, many of which became bestsellers. Number 8. Selling Meat in a Parking Lot Zaycon Fresh is a meat selling business that specializes in bringing fresh products from farm to table with minimal processing. They boast some of the cheapest prices you can find because of how many middleman steps they cut out. But while this is a massive business now, it had very humble beginnings. Mike and JC Conrad had the idea to buy massive, 40-pound boxes of meat directly from ranchers and sell it in a church parking lot for about half of what the grocery store was marking it up to. The idea took off, and now they hold sales events all over America where they do the exact same thing with everything from chicken breasts to jumbo shrimp. Number 7. Million Dollar Homepage the idea behind the million dollar homepage was an extremely simple one. Alex too needed to raise money for his college education, so he created a website. A one-page website with exactly one million pixels, arranged by a 1000 by 1000 pixel square. And those pixels were on sale for exactly one dollar each. For each chunk of the page sold, buyers could choose an image to be displayed, a metadata tooltip slogan to pop up, and a URL link for the section to link to. The million dollar homepage became a phenomenon and eventually sold every single pixel. The last thousand pixels available went up for auction on eBay and sold for over $38,000. That technically made it the $1,037,100 homepage. Number 6. Eternal Reefs A burial at sea is an old age ritual for people to lay their loved ones to rest. Frequently, that takes the form of ashes scattering at sea. But if that's the case, there's no permanent place to pay respects. That's the problem Eternal Reefs set out to solve. They take cremated ashes, mix them into a concrete blend, and create a reef-like structure to sit on the ocean floor. So it's like a gravestone made from your ashes and you put it under water so fish can live in it. Turns out, that was a million dollar idea. Number 5. Yo started out as an actual practical joke. It was a mobile app that was created in about 8 hours by an Israeli developer named Or Arbel. The app did exactly one thing. It allowed users to send the word YO to their friends. And it was launched on April 1st, 2014. Doesn't sound like much, right? Maybe not, but by July, three months after it was released, the app had millions of users and was valued at between 5 and 10 million dollars. At its peak, 
Yo was the number three app in the iOS App Store and has been adding features like location and photo sharing services since its release. Number four, a baseball. In 1998, Mark McGuire hit 70 home runs in a season, blowing away the previous Major League Baseball record of 61. It wasn't until years later that everyone found out he was cheating with steroids to do it. But that didn't mean anything to the man who caught home run number 70 in the stands. Phil Ozersky caught that ball after it bounced out of the hands of two of his co-workers, and he sold that ball at auction for $2.7 million. Number 3. Working the Cafeteria Charlie Ayers was the 53rd employee at a small tech startup, and he took a $45,000 a year salary, a pay cut of almost 50% compared to his previous job. They hired him on as a chef, and hey, they offered stock options and health benefits, so despite the pay cut, he took the job. It turned out okay for him, because that tech startup was Google, and by the time he'd left the company in 2006, his stock options had grown to be worth $26 million. Number 2. Wearing a T-Shirt When Jason Sadler heard about the Million Dollar homepage, he was completely inspired. He wondered why he couldn't also sell advertising space on a place that was costing him next to nothing. So he sold himself like a billboard. He started the website, I Wear Your Shirt, where he just has people pay him to wear their shirts. He takes pictures of himself in the shirt and then makes a video about the company it belongs to. Sadler started the company in 2009 and had so much business he had to double his prices the following year. Eventually, he even hired multiple shirt wearers in different US cities. Number 1. The Excused Absence Network was exactly what it sounded like. For about $25, you could send your name, a date, and an excuse. What you would get back is a realistic looking excuse, like a doctor's note or a jury duty summons. With that, you could get out of any day of work or a test or whatever you wanted. You know, as long as you don't mind that the note is a fraud and therefore literally illegal. Regardless, the creator made a bunch of money off of the site, and then the site quietly disappeared before they could get into serious legal trouble. What? Thank you, Don. Did you know that we have a countdown book featuring some of our best scripts on sale now? Links down below for the physical and ebook versions. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.